All right, guys, we are putting on the very first continuous panel right here. Kevin's welding it up, and uh, I'm hanging out with baby girls. So this is the beginning of it right here. You got a long stretch all the way down there of two and seven eighths upright, and then a two and three eighths top rail right here going up and down um, this spread right here. So we're gonna put continuous panels all the way down. It's about 900 feet. You gotta get 900 feet worth of continuous panels. Each continuous panel is 20 feet long. And so uh, we've got our little doohickeys is what I call them there and there and uh, easy to just stay on. You could really do this with one person, but um, it's nice to have two. Plus, it's so dry right now. We're having to watch out for fires um, right now, so it's nice to have a, a spot to uh, see uh, any fires get out, so. What is that? Did you find a steak? Nice. <laughs> Connectors come with a little bitty weld right here to keep it going in. Get them preset. So you put these in, you slide the whole 20 foot joint down, and it'll bump that weld. We don't even weld it because we end up welding this to the frame, so there's no movement to it. It's pretty easy to slide in and out. So if you need to match, you can kind of fit it in here to match your hole. Yeah. Works really well. Grab my wallet. <laughs> You're gonna spend dad's money? Uh-huh.
Hey. Hey, hey get her done. Construction's back in full force. <laughs> oh, am I in charge of this, Kevin? You did, you're just, just videoing. You're videoing yourself, Kevin. Yeah, you were. Did do it backwards. Did I do it wrong, Kevin? Oh, I did do it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. Best investments we ever got. Used it so much and like, when did we get it? Like December 31st? We used it a ton. Makes life a lot easier. For sure. More efficient and safer too as well. <laughs> no get her done, no. You don't have to do that, all that get her done construction though. That's right, it's a lot less get done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite look like a ranch hand though. My, uh, you look like a ranch hand. My hip. work gear didn't make it in the checked bag. <laughs> <laughs> the boots fit, Austin? They do. That's all I really needed. Number one ranch hand. His boots. Yeah. yeah.
It's amazing. It's been snow in the past couple of days, and we started hanging these panels. And even though it's been snowing and the ground is wet, you can see how dry this grass is as it's catching on fire. It's crazy how dry that grass really is. Looks like you're doing the stanky leg. Good job, hon. getting close to about halfway maybe somewhere in there we're, we're gonna be short on panels I, I knew where we were but I've got to go get some more um, we'll, we'll use about 20 today which is 400 feet and it looks like we may need another 500 feet according to our map so uh, but I think we're probably moving about eight or ten minutes per panel per uh, continuous fence panel um, and now we got a fire going so got new panels yesterday Kevin and Marissa and I and with a little help from Austin we did about half the stretch about 400 feet from here basically to there about 400 feet and I needed to go get some more I knew I was gonna be about 500 feet short so I got uh, uh, they come in bundles of 20 I got 20 there and then I got five here um, it's a little bit difficult to get it off of this trailer this 16 foot trailer so um but now we've got we've got 25 and now we've got 500 feet left and uh, then that'll be it on that front stretch so i um, excited to uh, to get it finished and then uh it's definitely a little bit more uh less uh, stress uh, whenever the your pastures just open the bison can't get in there but in just case they ever did um they would definitely have an easy way out so um, ready to uh, have all this finished. Hey, Hoss. Hey, guys. Welcome back. We've been working on this project. I don't know. If you include the fence teardown, it took me a day. And then 
Richard put the uprights on, or put set the uprights, came back with the top rail, and then me and Marissa and Kevin started putting on the continuous panels. It's been a while since we've been back at this, um, but continuous panels probably take, I don't know, about eight minutes average to put on. So I had to go get some new ones, but I think we're about halfway there. And so Marissa and I are out here today, and Maya, and we're going to hopefully finish this today. It may take a half a day to finish, So, uh, but uh, my mom is watching Baby Brooks, so we've got a little break and a chance to get out here, and it's a pretty day, and we've got snow, and so uh, hopefully we don't have to deal with fire as much, um, even though it's so dry here, um, and the grass is dry. So we're going to take these new panels down there, and uh, we're hopefully going to finish putting on the continuous panels today, so let's go. your back. There you go. That's good.
got it. Hi right, guys, we just put on the last panel right here on, um, I guess you could call it an H brace at the end of our top rail. We just put it on. So this is where um, we also have to hang a gate here. We, that's the last thing we have to do. I already, I already cut the holes. We're ready for that. We're gonna, got a hinge right here that we're using. We use these hinges, so I, I, I only have one, so we can't hang it right now, but I need one more. That's, uh, that's the last panel we put on, and uh, it's exciting to weld that last clip. Uh, there's no telling how many welding rods that we used on this, but so only thing, we're gonna hang a gate right here. We got a 16 foot gate, um, just in case. It's always good to have more gates because in cases uh, where bison could get out or, or whatever animal, or you need access down this way uh, on different parts of your property, it's always good to have gates. Um, you know, if you need to get a vehicle through there, you got animals out, it's always good to have it. So we definitely put a gate in here on the south end of this property. But, so the neighbor's right here next to us, and we are still, what you've seen here lately, we've been working on clearing this fence line and uh, all the, there's lots of traffic on this road coming by. Still working on this fence line, clearing out, got some pecan trees we're gonna leave here for our neighbor. But our line to go east and west is gonna start right here on this wooden post. This wooden post was put here in the 50s when they were surveying this land is what the uh, the owner next to me told me. So I think that's really cool. So we left this here. So this is actually where our line starts, but we left this post here for him just because him and his dad put it in, in, like I said, the 1950s. So we left that there. It's incredible that it's still there. But um, a wooden telephone pole is what it is, but they use it as a marker. Um, so that's where it actually starts, but we're gonna go from this point all the way down on our new, that'll be barbed wire. But guys, this is absolutely a long process um, to do, um, starting right here all the way down. I think that's probably maybe a quarter of a mile. And uh, I just wanna thank Richard and his son, Trevor Thomason, uh, some good neighbors and been friends of the family for a long time. I wanna thank them for coming up here, setting the post, setting the two and seven eighths post in the ground. And then Richard came back through and did the topper on this with two and three eighths pipe. And he did a great job and uh, it looks awesome. So I just want to thank them. I want to thank Kevin for his help. And obviously my wife, my wife was out here with me uh, all day today to finish this. And uh, it looks like it took us about uh, four or five hours to finish this project and she's driving the skid steer she's got her cutting with the torch today and so that's that's fun having her out here with me while my mama's watching brooks and gives us a little break to hang out together and work yeah this is this is a sunday we work on sundays and so that's part of uh when you're working on projects or you, you own a ranch the ranch never takes breaks and if you've farmed a ranch you never take it's hard to take breaks and um, so it's a full-time job, continuous job, 24 seven, no matter what type of animal you're raising. Uh, but we're trying to improve this place and you gotta have fencing, you gotta have good fencing. And we had to start fresh right here on this road frontage. And uh, it looks awesome guys, with these continuous panels. We, we got a system down and Marissa was working ahead of me and she could get the panel set for me and uh, basically could, could get them set for me and I'll just come through and weld them up with the clips and uh, it worked pretty well it worked as worked as a team and uh, that's what it's about and we got it done finally so uh, last thing just hang the gate and uh, we'll be set hey somebody else I need to thank is uh, Daniel from arms family homestead my brother-in-law uh, this little welder over here uh, basically and I know he's probably gonna laugh but um, we've it's been in our hands way longer than than daniel's hands i promise you because um, he's let us use this on a lot of projects because we've done a lot of fence building at the original place and at the uh, ponderosa so i need to thank daniel for letting us use this welder uh, kevin and i for lots of projects and so um 
there it is right there it's been a great welder and it's got us through a lot of stuff and if you are a bison rancher and you can weld that's just uh props to you um that's just a, another extra skill that you need to have and it's very beneficial uh if you're a welder and you're a part of a bison rancher you raise bison so um very thankful for that welder because we couldn't do any of this we'd be hiring it out because we don't have one so um but anyways thank you guys for being a part of this project it's taken a lot and it's uh it's a lot of work and a lot of effort by um not just me uh marissa kevin and um richard and trevor so thank everyone for doing this still got more work to do and that's part of it on a ranch there's always something to do and so we're going to continue to improve this place and clean it up and get good bison fencing in here so that when the green grass hits, these guys are going to go out here on this. So thank you guys for being a part of this. See you next time.